This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by CarePoint and HCA Health One. Uh, so I want to talk about penicillin allergies this morning. It's obviously one of the most common allergies we see listed, and that raises issues because some of the most common and most important antibiotics we want to give are either penicillins or cephalosporins, which are have cross-reactivity with penicillin allergies. The thing is, the vast majority of patients with penicillin allergies listed actually don't have a true penicillin allergy. The reason being is that a lot of childhood infections and viral infections, when you give a penicillin to those children, they can get a rash that's more of an adverse reaction rather than a true allergy, if that makes sense. So we can actually use a decision tool, this nifty pen fast decision tool. You can find it on MD Calc. I'm not going to go through like the evidence for it today, um, but it's backed by pretty good evidence. And what you can do is you can ask the patient these three questions. Has it been five years or less since their reaction to penicillin is number one. Number two is, did they have anaphylaxis or angioedema? Or did they have a severe cutaneous adverse reaction like SJS or something like that? like TEN. And then number three is, uh, did they require treatment? Like, did they get epi for the reaction? And if the answer to all three of these questions is no, the likelihood of them having a true penicillin allergy is less than 1%. So you can actually treat that, you know, otitis media with amoxicillin or the PTA with uh, augmentin. Or um, you can feel really good about giving that septic patient ceftriaxone. If they answer yes to one of the questions, um, it's a lower, like 5% or less likelihood. So then you can kind of have a risk benefit discussion of, you know, if this patient's septic and they, they need ceftriaxone or cefepime or something, um, you can talk about the cross reactivity and probably just go ahead and give that cephalosporin. Cool. Let's have a great day. This has been the Emergency Medical Minute. Thank you to our sponsors, CarePoint and HCA Health One. Support from them and listeners like you helps us to continue providing free medical education to the masses. If you found this episode valuable, consider supporting our work and check out the link in our show notes.